Hello guys, welcome to another video. As you can see, I got a haircut. My hair sucks now. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm now doing another haul of comic books. I'm gonna start documenting every time I get comic books to show you my ever-growing collection. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna be showing my, uh, before and after of my comic books also. Of what I've had since November all the way to now. And it is freaking awesome. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so um, I got a bunch of comic books today. Uh, issues I've been missing out on. I'm so mad. They had the new Infinite Frontier Justice League, and I. I forgot to get it, and it was the Snyder Cut, uh, uh, variants. I forgot to get them! I'm so mad! But, uh, yeah. Um, this first one is not from my local comic book shop from where I'm at. Therefore, I call my local comic book shop. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah. Um, this one's from Half Price Books. I went there today, kinda disappointed in what they had, and I got me a comic book. Um three bucks and I can't believe it was two ninety nine when it came out. Um I was gonna get the hardcover edition for my Watchmen timeline, which I am probably still doing. I don't know. I am probably gonna have extra money for my paycheck and I'm probably gonna do it, but it's probably not gonna be like until the end of the year. Cause I'm thinking of a bunch of other stuff and I'm thinking of doing character analysis videos and stuff. Um yeah. Oh speaking of which before I get in if you guys have a character you guys want me to, uh, do, I might be able to do them. I have a fair amount of comic books, and, yeah. Um, number one, bad cover. It's so disappointing. One second, the light's in the way. Fix it. Um, so I got this. It's the only problem with it, I'd say, is that the spine's kind of like, it's a reader's copy, so the spine is kind of like that usual white line across it so it's been red obviously but I can't believe it came out for $2.99 that is freaking ridiculous um it's first print um I really wanted to get the fourth print uh because I like it um it is very cool and uh yeah so now I got one part of the Watchmen timeline, so it's possible. It's possible I might be able to do it. Now you might think I'm stupid for getting this. Um, at my local comic book shop in Lima, uh, sad, uh, uh, I could have got this issue, and it was so awesome, and it's worth like much more than this one. I'm pretty sure. Invincible number one. I don't know if they're bringing the whole series back and just re-releasing re all the issues. But, like, yeah, it's Invincible number one. It was three ninety nine, and it's a very good thing. I just bought it because of the cover. I just watched the first four episodes of the Invincible show, and it is awesome. Go to Amazon Prime now and go watch it. Not sponsored by Amazon Prime, but I do wish. Infinite Frontier Catwoman number 29. And, uh, yeah. Just, I'm trying to collect everything. I collected all of Death Metal. I'm not, I'm going to try to collect all of New 52. Um, but that, I'm pretty sure it's not gonna happen. Um, Catwoman, number 29. Uh, I haven't read anything about it. I just grabbed it for Infinite Frontier. This, I was so happy. When, in a video I'm trying to make, that I'm trying to re uh, get the files because back in Lima where I was at for two weeks I screwed up my computer some way somehow and the files aren't working properly and I'm seeing what will happen I have a backup of them I just gotta find it on the USB but yeah I had uh, my local comic book shop didn't have this and I was so devastated Suicide Squad number one I'm tomorrow I'm getting number two and Crime Syndicate, number two. I am so happy. 
I got this because I'm getting all my Future State stuff on eBay. And then, yes, I'm collecting all the Future State also. Number three. Some guy selling the whole second phase of Future State in bulk for 40 bucks, which is a price that I cannot believe! And, uh, yeah, I got this one because he's not selling this one, weirdly. Um, but yeah, I got a very sought after issue. I'm gonna put the price up here or something. One second. But yeah, uh, Batman Superman number 16. Like, uh, Batman 106, I'm pretty sure. It look, and it's the first appearance of a couple characters, first appearance of Spider Lady, Dr. Adam, and Unknown Wizard. And, uh, yeah, this is, I believe this takes place after the linear verse event, or whatever. But, yeah, like, it's weird. And stuff. But, yeah. Like, uh, Batman 106, it's a pretty high price because of first Miracle Molly and whatever. Uh, I, w I need to get that one, part of my Infinite Frontier collection. I and I know it's stupid, I'm just collecting the issues part of it, and I'm not going to collect any else besides Teen Titans Academy, possibly Harley Quinn, and others. I got this Superman Infinite Frontier 1029, and I'm glad. I love this cover. It is so awesome. I don't know the artist who made it, but I love it. And again, I'm not going to read it. I just collect it. Only a few of these I'm going to actually read. Um, this is what does to me. My comic book shop doesn't have the comic book sleeves I usually get out here in Cleveland. So, yeah, I ex they didn't have a backboard for this one. I bought two extra ones, but they weren't the right ones. Yeah, yeah. Batman Annual Number Five, the uh, origin of Clown Hunter. At the first appearance, no, I have the origin. And uh, most likely, probably gonna read. Flash number 768. Jesus, rebirth was five years ago. Yeah, Flash number 768. I got a variant cover. But yeah, they released early. But uh, yeah, I got the variant cover. They didn't have the regular cover, and I'm actually glad I got this one too. I love it. Uh, they had Justice League, I believe, 59, part of Infinite Frontier. I did not get it, and it's sad. It makes me sad. It makes me cry. Um, but yeah. Um, also, something else I want to show you. Probably not comic book related. I'm a big Marvel Zombies fan. As you know, I did two reviews on first complete collections. Um, Zombie Morbius. <laughs> part of Marvel Zombies 3, I'm pretty sure. I love this Funko Pop. My dad got it for me for Easter, and it's a pretty worthy prop, uh, pop to be owning at the moment. It's like 40 bucks right now, pop price guide. Uh, but yeah, and I also got a Rubik's Cube. Now, let's get to the announcements on what I'm thinking about doing with this channel. A real announcements this time. Oh, it's on. Um, okay. Give me a second. So, uh, sorry, but this is real quick. Uh, today, this is the day after I recorded previous sections of the video, and I just went to this new comic book shop and got some good stuff. Sorry for the muffle. Okay. So, I got Crime Syndicate number two. Love this. Awesome. Love the series. I'm going to collect all six issues. Second print. Don't like the cover. It's 106. Batman, Detective Comics. 1034. Awesome. Uh, 
it's 599 it's the Zack Snyder's Justice League variant awesome awesome Green Lantern number one Infinite Frontier probably only gonna keep the probably only gonna just collect this one because I'm not really big in the Green Lantern uh, yeah and Suicide Squad number two well, yeah, you can look at the pictures of them. So, uh, not big, real, but it's real announcements. I'm thinking of changing the channel name and logo once again, not the name. Since I'm not really trying to be a Watchmen-oriented channel, like, anymore, because I'm out of that phase, um, I'm, it might sound corny, I'm changing my channel to Rubik's Cube Comics. Sounds catchy to me. I like it. And after all, this is my channel. I can do what I want. I own it. Um, yeah. Um, I don't want it to, my name to be Rorschach's Journal. Because I want to have an actual name that I can put on stuff. So if I ever want to make merch and stuff, I don't have to have the burden of having to get my name licensed. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway with a new Suicide Squad movie coming out. My Ollie's is selling, out in Lima, is selling some of the Suicide Squad volumes and pick trade paperback, and I'm in my Walmart is selling some of the movies, so I'm thinking of doing a giveaway of those. That's only a thought, though. I'm not probably not going to do it, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that's all. Um. Oh yeah, I'm going to show you guys my collection. I'm going to take a pic. Uh, it's just going to be some pictures. And I'm just going to show them to y'all. Uh, my befores and afters. And I'll play some up here somewhere. Uh, as you can see, I have my before and after somewhere on here. And, uh, yep. Uh, whatever's blacked out, it means that it's not mine. So as a moment, I'm using my dad's comic book sets placeholders in here. So, yeah. Love you guys. Have a good time. And remember, give me suggestions. I want to make character announced videos, and I don't know who to make it on. Dang. Deadpool's too easy. And, like, I want to do something cool, like... And it could be alternate universe characters who like Zombie Spider-Man or Venom from Earth 6-9. Um, but yeah. Uh, love you guys. Bye.